Welcome to another spirit-filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video. As well, I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. The Bible says that every man who ministers should minister according to the measure of grace. Let me show you what it takes to carry the power of the Holy Spirit. By this teaching tonight, someone's destiny is opening up. Because finally, listen, for some of you, this is what you have seen in your dreams and visions. This realm, this dimension. You have been saying, Lord, in terms of the word and prayer, that power dimension is the desperate need for my ministry now, for my life now. Let me show you the key. Are you ready? Psalm 89 and verse 20. Please media, quickly project it for us. And then I want you all to read the first four words. Please make sure it is the first four words. The first four words. Are you ready? One, two, read. One more time. One more time. For the last time now. Hmm. The Bible says, I have found David. But the anointing was not looking for David. There was a kind of person David needed to become for the anointing to find him. I have found David. But it is not David the anointing is looking for. The anointing is looking for my servant. I have found a man of God in Yola. But it is not a man of God that I am looking for. I have found John. I have found Joshua. I found him since 2001. But there is a kind of person the anointing and the mantle is looking for. He simply calls that person my servant. I have found that businessman. But it is not the businessman the anointing is looking for. It is looking for my servant. My servant is not a name. My servant is a journey that turns David to become a certain kind of vessel. Are we together now? There are many, many people who want the anointing. But they do not know that until you become his servant. Until you become his servant. Until you become his servant in business. His servant in ministry. His servant on the crusade ground. For as long as you are still David. David has his own ambition. David has his own destiny. David has his own dreams. You don't use the anointing to do your own thing. You must become my servant. Do you know the journey that translates David to his servant? The name given to that journey is death. Death to everything. I have found David. It was easy finding David. But I'm still finding my servant. I have found a woman. But I'm still looking for my servant to turn her into a prophetess. Hmm. I have found Yola, great preachers, Kaliga Barakos Yata. But I'm still looking for my servant. I'm showing you what has separated many people into spiritual cadres. There are some who are still David, wanting the anointing, but others have become his servants. Get this revelation and it will change your life forever. I have found a nice gentleman who has a beautiful musical voice. But I'm still looking for my servant. I have found someone who opened a pharmacy. But I'm still looking for my servant. The anointing does not come upon men. The anointing comes upon his servants. Let's go back to that scripture. please help four people they will start running now by the anointing i just saw the spirit of grace like a dove just came upon four people 
and it's an empowerment by the spirit please help them so they don't injure themselves but they are going to start running right now by the spirit please help them please help them now listen i want you to pay attention your life is about to change there is a dimension of glory you are being immersed into your ministry and your life will never be the same the old you is about to give way to a new you that is carrying potent genuine spiritual power by wisdom oh god Heaven's gates open up with understanding you order the seasons Creating day and night, turning darkness into light Arranging the stars to your pleasing me for as long as self and flesh is still there it is not the anointing of the spirit that will rest upon you maybe something else can come upon you I have found give us that scripture David but I'm looking for my servant so for 20 years in ministry you have been David that is the reason why the anointing, the mantle of your destiny, the, the mantle has hovered around your church. It has hovered around Yola. It has hovered around homes, searching for servants. Listen to me. Let's finish that scripture. Finally, David becomes his servant. And the Bible says, with my holy oil, I have anointed that servant next verse reading to 24 with whom my hand shall be established my arm shall also strengthen him by reason of the anointing the enemy shall not exert upon him nor the son of wickedness afflict him 23 I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him it says but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his authority be exalted listen to me listen to me do you know why jesus was not anointed from birth do you know why jesus was not anointed from age 12 because the bible says he had to learn obedience by the things he suffered even your Jesus did not get anointed just because he was the son of God. He had to go through the pathway. I have found Jesus. But I'm looking for the one who is prepared to serve the will of the father. And until it's 30 before that anointing came. Let me tell you this. There is no limit to what God can do in your life. There is no limit to the, um, the degree of unction and grace that can come upon you. The key is death that turns ordinary men to become servants you know what it means to be a servant the hallmark of servanthood is that you lose the ability to tell god no everything that comes from him is yes for as long as you still have your agenda for as long as you still have your pride for as long as you still have your ministry it is not the anointing from heaven that comes upon you Tonight, God sent me here to tell someone he has found you but he's looking for his servant he's looking for his servant oh he's looking for his servant to turn you into a genuine apostle a genuine prophet a genuine businessman so in this miracle and impartation service listen carefully it is not just about shouting amen 
something must die in your heart it says in the year that king uzziah died i isaiah saw the lord something has to die for you to see in the year that my pride died i saw the lord in the year that flesh died i saw the lord you cannot see him when there are two kings one king must die uzziah had to die to see the other king there cannot be two thrones in your heart no listen carefully i wish i had the time to begin to tell you my journey in the spirit and my journey with god <sighs> but this anointing that we have downplayed that we have limited to just falling down and standing up or limited to just calling names and prophesying as wonderful as that is let me tell you there are layers and there are dimensions and there are levels of the anointing there are virgin dimensions that God wants to I hope you know that the prophecy upon the church age is that the former and the latter reign do you know what that means there are mantles this I hope you know mantles do not leave the earth to heaven no no every mantle you read in the Bible is still on earth but there is a kind of believer that must carry it and it's not by claiming is by the sacrifice of death help those under the anointing spirit of god is pruning and circumcising men i believe that is yola is stepping into a prophetic a very prophetic season i truly believe that that there are men and women who are rising by the spirit men and women who are dead enough to carry these end time mantles it will take being more than a preacher it will take being more than a man of god it will take being more than a businessman it is for those who have vowed to serve the purposes of the king in life and in death hallelujah sit down for five minutes please let me establish two more things about the anointing and then we'll pray be sensitive something is happening here we see the rain of your love we feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear you. I see the rain of your love. I feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. So let it rain. Let it rain. Open us love. Shade ke parasa besakata, Christ ka de balakata pras ke fede keta, kam prakata bakato shekete frega de bele keta. Open the floodgates of heaven. Kenta shamas ka vasa frega de bele kusiata. Open the floodgates. I raised that song because I saw a vision. I just saw a vision of rain coming. And the scripture that came to me is until the spirit be poured upon us from on high. And then the wilderness shall be counted for a fruitful vine. And a fruitful vine for a forest. We see the rain, see the rain. Your ministry is about to receive that dew of Hammon afresh again. Now, please sit down. Fire is burning in this place. I need to show you two things before we begin to pray. Fire is burning in this place. Finally, His Majesty is finding His servant. Where are all those young men in your prayer groups?
God has brought you here it's time to be ignited by fire by the spirit of the living God it's been a season of training with the spirit now it's time for your eyes to see to see afresh to see afresh Open the floodgates of heaven. In a masena banana, shalada lada, sheda bara sada balada balada balakuzi adada. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Many of you, let me explain something to you. Don't think that you are, I'm wasting your time. What is happening to you <laughs> is that you are being immersed. There is a kind of glory. You know how you marinate something because you want to fry it or you want to cook it. This is what is happening to you. These songs are not just special numbers. I'm not a musician. They are ladders in the spirit. There is an ascendance that is happening to your spirit man. As you are under this influence. He said there is as it were many voices. And none of them is without signification. Oh come, oh come me mad well. And run some captivity, Israel. Oh, come, oh, come, me, man, you well. And run some captivity, Israel. Rejoice, rejoice, be man, you well. Yola has come to you. Is Israel Spirit of the Sovereign Lord Come and make your presence known Reveal the glory of the risen Lord Spirit of the Sovereign Lord Come and make your presence come reveal the glory of there are five people God is showing me five people you are all ladies I'm seeing a very strong mantle prophetic psalmistry this is what is coming upon you Kabira Aliakata I call deep to be unlocked within your spirit man in the name of Jesus Christ Shaleke paruka siata. And out of your belly shall flow rivers. Rivers of living water, e -I -E -I -E. out of your belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water, e -I -E -I -E. out of your 
your city shall flow rivers rivers of living water Hallelujah. Let me show you two keys for receiving the anointing. And then we'll begin to pray. My God. Please sit down if you can. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are experiencing tonight is a ministry of the paraclet, the spirit of the living God. Hear me. Ladies and gentlemen, there are many of you, your ministries will carry these mantles. You will go back and the power of God will sweep across this city in ways that you cannot imagine. Let me show you two keys. Please be seated if you can. There are two, there are two biblical keys. I know that the waters has been stirred. Huh. There are two keys to receiving anointings, mantles, and graces. And I want to show you the keys now and then we'll pray. Please don't be distracted. If this is all we do tonight, many of you will not forget this day for a very long time. For how can you walk when you don't know the way of the way? How can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit? How can you fly like the eagles when you don't know the way? Is power at work in you, changing everything? Be no beat and surprise. That's what God is doing. He's changing everything. Be no beat and surprise. For someone here, swallow your pride tonight. Come to the school of the spirit. Don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life? It's a little here, a little there, and then your day will dawn. He's at work in you, changing everything. The first key that controls the reception of strange graces and mantles, please write it, is an encounter with God himself. When you have an encounter with the God of the Bible, you can receive as a reward for encountering God directly from God. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus how God anointed Jesus how God anointed Jesus God can anoint men how God anointed Jesus direct encounters with God Solomon slept and had a dream and received an impartation of an understanding heart and the spirit of wisdom directly from God. But number two, which is the more common pattern we see in scripture, is through the mystery called impartation. Write it down please. Impartation. 
impartation kalika praske venika pariata ko safraskidash romans 1:11 paul was speaking to the church in rome he said for i long to see you that i may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established I think it was in Philippians 1 verse 7 or so he said ye all are partakers of my grace when God grants a man access to an anointing you see the anointing and the graces of God are responsible for the dimensions of spiritual possibilities that we experience in this kingdom so the grace for favor will not produce healing no it will produce favor these graces have jurisdiction of operation so don't just say i am anointed no the anointing and the distribution of graces they are jurisdictional in operation the anointing for prosperity will not raise the dead it has its jurisdiction so the bible says in second corinthians 9 and verse 8 it says and god is able to make all grace say all grace not some grace all grace all the dimensions of grace are bound towards you so that ye on account of those graces having sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work god is able to make all grace please take it higher for me are we together now all grace don't say apostle i have the prophetic that's not the only thing needed for your destiny your heart must be open to receive all grace the bible says speaking to moses he says and thou shalt take joshua in whom is the spirit already and thou shalt lay your hands upon him and anoint him he says and then thou shalt take some of your honor and you will give to him to a man who is already anointed listen to me co-laborers in the gospel by the privilege of god's grace i can tell you there is much more we can do for the kingdom but our possibilities are limited by the extent of grace and the dimensions of grace that are at work in us you see the apostolic and the uh, prophetic anointing works like this when you come into a region because of how god has built you by the election of grace and the sacrifice of alignment you are able to assume whatever mold god wants to release and distribute the graces that are deficient within a territory are we together now you can know the graces that are deficient within the territory by the absence of certain testimonies all you need to do is to take an honest appraisal of your life and an honest appraisal of your ministry and an honest appraisal of your test or your of your territory you can tell the graces that are there and the graces that are not there and you can tell the degree of what grace is there because grace and peace can be multiplied by the time the sick still remain sick there is a grace that has not yet come upon your territory by the time lives and destinies are still confused that means there is a level of the accurate manifestation of the character of the prophetic to bring direction that is missing by the time the average believer in adamawa and yola is bankrupt of stature it means there is a dimension of the prophetic revelatory dimension of teaching that is not there because there is a grace that was upon paul in ephesians chapter 3 and verse 9 the bible says when that grace comes upon a man you can make all men see all men can see regardless their educational background regardless their pedigree once that grace is upon you it can make all men see when there's widespread poverty across the territory there is what the bible calls the power to get wealth it means that engracing is not yet there my assignment tonight haven't endured in the course of this conference 
is that among the many things God is going to be doing is he's going to be distributing spiritual possibilities in addition to that which you have received that there can be higher measures of the same grace and then virgin dimensions of grace that your hands and your destiny and your ministry has not yet captured for job said there is a path which no fowl has seen that the whelps of the lion has not gotten there there are virgin dimensions in the spirit ladies and gentlemen when it has to do with exploring the deep things in god there are no generals there we the best of us still remains a toddler compared to the vast riches of what is available to the saints so paul prayed this way i bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ is that true that he may grant unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened or flooded with light that you may know he was praying over the church in ephesus to comprehend the kind of power that was exalted when christ was raised from the dead and exalted to be far above every throne dominion principalities and every name that is named not only in this world but even in the world to come i cry every time and i tell god i'm available more love more power more of you in my life when i go to him i don't go as a man of god more love there are still greater assignments more power more of you in my life you see there are many of us who have not been able to step into the deeper levels of the spirit because of pride overconfidence carelessness and ar an arrival mentality i prophesied to someone and the person had a child thank god for it but is that all i shared a revelation and that revelation <laughs> there are parts in the spirit tonight your heart must be open that a thousand cubits will be measured for you again that regardless what we have seen I submit to you by the authority of scripture there are many many dimensions we have not seen every time I read the Bible sometimes tears begin to come out of my eyes and my Christ Lord where did we miss it you read about these men and women who the Bible talks about in Hebrews 11 it says that they obtained a good report it says time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak men who through faith subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness tore the mouth of lions women who received their dead back to life Yola hear me it is not because Satan is so powerful it's because men of fire have not truly risen and I'm not saying this to downplay and demean what you're already doing for God I know that many of us in various ways are doing our best but the Lord has commanded this apostolic and prophetic convergence because there is need for more yesterday's oil cannot solve today's problem mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. the woman had oil but it was too small to help her her issue was not the absence of oil it was that the oil was not enough to take her out of debt and the prophet said the problem is not the oil the problem is the vessel go and borrow vessels borrow not a few and once they were vessels he said lock the door because there are things god will not do with you in public lock the door and let multiplication start happening and the bible says as she locked the door multiplication of oil and grace started and when there was no more vessel the oil stopped hear me I know that your city is a prosperous city but my question is how many kingdom people have commanded the wealth of the kingdom we keep jumping and shouting the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous yet our children are becoming prostitutes our young men are becoming armed robbers because of poverty can I tell you do not say it does not matter every time Satan wants to destroy a people he uses hunger hunger always sends Israel to Egypt hunger always sends israel to egypt there is only one reason israel goes to egypt hunger 
that means there are financial apostles that must rise from this meeting you have seen it in your dreams men and women who will build institutions men and women who will say under my watch no pastor will compromise because of money again i will stand as a financial pillar holding the hands of moses there are many men of god who started well but because of this spirit of poverty are now roaming around the corridors of compromise i can tell you there are men and women here the mantle that is about to come upon you tonight in a strange way you will command the wealth of the kingdom but it will be without pride because you know the assignment and the purpose of wealth how about the healing anointing listen to me when you study the materials and the writings of men like smith wigglesworth before they died they left a prophecy and fathers of faith in this nation men like benson archbishop benson idahosa apostle babalola they left a prophecy that there is coming a generation greater than them they said it they said as great as it is there is a generation coming that will be accumulation of the former and the latter rain did the bible not say this is the generation of them that seek thy face O jacob can i tell you one of the graces that must be restored to the body as we prepare to receive jesus christ is the restoration of genuine healing mantles most young people have not truly seen what a healing ministry looks like just i'm um, thank god for the headaches one wheelchair here but most people it will take people who are at least maybe 50 years and above they will tell you that they saw the healing ministry men and women that carried power you would bring crutches out like you are carrying building materials hallelujah dying the glory hallelujah amen hallelujah dying the glory revive us again The day the dead begins to rise in Yola, the day a popular madman that everybody knows on the street comes under the influence of this former and latter reign and that madness leaves. Let me tell you, every church will be filled. It's not because there are no members. It's because they are tired of a powerless manifestation or a powerless proposals. God can do this. God can heal. God can change your story. They shout amen and yet nothing happens. John 4 48 says except you see signs and wonders you will not believe this is a generation that wants proof if you say God heals prove it if you say God restores prove it mm. Elisha said let the king come and he will know that there is a prophet in Israel hallelujah there will also be an a restoration of men and women who carry the the mantle that was upon joseph and daniel and will be represented in government if there's anyone here in government please listen to me very carefully god is counting on the church and let's not bring this age-long ignorance that has punished us and kept us down for many years that it does not matter one policy in the parliament can punish daniel regardless his prayer life there needs to be men and women who have a covenant of no compromise that they will not defile themselves with the king's meat that God can trust to be in strategic positions of power how about lecturers the campus today has become a place of revival but it's also the place where Satan recruits people there are people who go to the campus as nice ladies nice gentlemen and almost come out as devils they hold a certificate plus demons because that four five six years has turned them from saints to something else there needs to be lecturers who are full of the holy ghost that one student can come into your office saying sir i don't know why i don't understand i'm the only person the only child of my my widowed mom and you will shift that lot that lecturing manual one side and say listen i'm not only a lecturer i'm an ambassador of the kingdom let us pray
in the name of Jesus that demon that devil out of this student and the student returns after five years to say sir do you remember me territorial impact is not just a doctrine it's not just a discussion it's something that should happen within our territories that a day will come every Sunday the roads will be empty because everybody has gone to the house of God is you know what the Bible says that they will say come let us go to the house of God to the God of Jacob and he will teach us his ways they have learned that God is in the midst of his people all of these people that are here inside and outside can I tell you John Wesley said set yourself on fire and the world will come to watch you burn these things are not cliches let's stop giving excuses and say people don't like church it's a lie they have not seen the kind of results that draw them they will come and they will stay and they will pray they will endure rain they will endure sunshine if they have a guarantee they will encounter the god of the bible the days of Catherine Kuhlman and these this great generals, people will line up for hours patiently waiting because they knew that these people, they came with glory, not just stories. Businessmen, have you conquered the spirits that sit upon businesses and make sure that family keeps, families keep perpetuating poverty and lack? so that you do not think the anointing is just for healing the sick and just for the supernatural and then alienate yourself and say no i'm just a businessman i'm just a mother mary was anointed to give birth to jesus and take care of him without the anointing you think mary would have been able to do her work it took the anointing to raise one child now you have eight you need more anointing than the preacher because every arm robber came from a home and every preacher comes from a home every national problem was a regional problem that was not solved every regional problem was a family problem that could not be solved is that true all the people disturbing territory whether terrorists whether stubborn people who are causing mayhem all of them come from homes it was because there was no anointing to manage and contain their issues that is spilled over to society and today is destroying society so that means there are parents and family men that must receive anointings and mantles mantles that will keep your children obedient to the faith he said as for me and my house not me alone not me and my wife as for me and my house we will serve the lord there is a grace responsible for that outcome pastors we comforted ourselves in the morning because there are many of us who are already discouraged now do you know that after covid there are many pastors that plunge to depression because of death they plunge to all it looked like their labor of many years and decades just vanished there are many of you even in business now you have not recovered because what happened from covid brought you from grace to grass i have good news for you the axe head can float back again An encounter with God and a genuine impartation a genuine impartation and listen the law of impartation is such that you must discern God in the vessel you want to receive from you're not going to receive from a vessel by casually saying well I think that this person is anointed no the Bible says he that receives a prophet listen carefully in the name of a prophet that means there are other names by which you can receive the prophet you can receive the prophet in the name of your tribesman. You can receive the prophet in the name of your husband. You can receive the prophet in the name of your wife. You can receive the prophet in the name of a colleague in ministry. But he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet. God sent me here by the grace of God, by the privilege of God's grace. To not only come and teach and show you a pathway. To not only come and pray for the sick and declare breakthroughs, but that certain mantles and certain graces. I have come as a prophetic midwife by the Spirit of God tonight. That there are certain things for some of you, your hand is almost there. Reaching to that which is prophetic. 
I have come as a midwife to help you because you see midwives can be dangerous if a midwife is careless she can make a great destiny to become like that of Mephibosheth Mephibosheth's issue was not that he did anything wrong it was simply the carelessness of a midwife a midwife did not bring him out properly and for the rest of his life he remained crippled it matters who helps you to touch these new dimensions of God midwives can accelerate your access like the one who took Samson and trained Samson and Moses or midwives can be careless like the one who handled Mephibosheth and crippled your capacity to make advancement Are you ready? Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for